go. Good, good. Hey, Dad. Very nice. Looking forward to another tech today? Tech? No, not really. It's going to be a tough day, so just try to get through it really one piece. Is today the hump day? So today's not even the hump day? Oh, I'm having a coffee here, I need to know. Is it double strength or? I've hit that, I've hit the middle, middle of the tour hump day where I'm actually looking for a coffee. Oh, I'm in the wars today. Yesterday was a big, big day. Fighting for time cut. <laughs> Which generally means you yeah, dig as deep as you can, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Rather not start with the stage like we have today, but that is what it is. We try and survive and uh, try and uh, see another day through. The combination's right, they let it go to the line. It's a good one for you too, mate. Pretty scary out there when you're in that situation. First mountain we've been up in a few weeks. We've got another tough one today. It's just a short stage. These ones are always pretty uh, aggressive. Guys can go right from the start. So expecting another another solid battle. Definitely warm up on the on the home trainers today and make sure we're ready. Come kilometer zero. Stage 11 is short for a mountain stage, but it could well be explosive if the GC riders decide to put an end to yesterday's pact of non-aggression. Well, Mont Blanc providing a stunning background for this one with the temperatures approaching 30 degrees here in the Alps. There's some absolutely breathtaking scenery on this 11th stage as the peloton began to up the ante. At the front of five riders tackling the final climb to La Rosière. Three minutes over the peloton. And then with 9k to go, Mikel Nieve went for it, presumably getting the green light from Mitchelton Scott after his leader Adam Yates was dropped. Dumoulin joining Caruso and Jesus Harada in his bid to catch Nieve, but the Spaniard was resisting well as he looked to land the first tour stage win. With five kilometers to go, Sky made their move. But the stage win went to Thomas, who overhauled Nieve with 300 meters to go. Dumoulin flipping through to second place. Today, when I was in the breakaway, I, I thought that I can have a nice chance, no? And finally, I have uh, quite a good left, but yeah, it is. You know, sometimes, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Today was a tough day for the guys, with Mikel's coming so close to winning the stage, only caught with 150 metres to go after being alone on the last time. It was a magnificent performance, and then Adam not having the best of days losing 4 minutes and 43 seconds, but that's tour racing, particularly here at the Tour de France. Guys put a lot of pressure on, them, on themselves and it's our ability to take that pressure off. Yeah, it was disappointing today, but there's still 10, 12 stages to go in this, in this Tour de France. A lot can, can happen. It finishes on the Alpe d'Huez tomorrow. So the guys will have a nice dinner tonight, they'll have a debrief and Whitey will, will talk to them about the strategies going forward, but we're looking looking forward to the next few days coming up, absolutely.